Hello, everybody. Happy Fun Fact Friday. Now, these fun facts are kind of turning into fun percussion facts, but I'm okay with that because percussion is fun. So really, synonymous, right? Uh, as you can see, I have a bunch of percussion instruments on the table in front of me here. So each of these instruments, um, either people have asked me what they're called or they have a way to play them that people don't normally know. Okay, so that's kind of why I want to rapid fire, go through them, and hopefully teach you something about each of these instruments. So, the first one. Here we go. This is a guiro. This one people always forget the name of. It's a guiro. And it's got the little ridges here. It's got the holes in the bottom. Little fishy mouth for sound to come out. And what we do is we scrape it and we tap it like so. The cool thing about it is because the two sides are different shapes, we actually get different sounds on either end. So that's why the guiro is interesting. Next, we have the claves, which look like two, you know, very unassuming sticks. But the cool thing about the claves is that when you hit them the right way, they are super loud. And I know you're like, well, how is that even possible? Watch. So if we hit them like this and we're really holding the sticks and we're really dampening the sound, not going to get much out of it. But if we open them up and really let them sing, look at that. I've got all that space in the bottom. That's so much louder. It's incredible. This thing can pierce through any ensemble. It's awesome. Next, sleigh bells. We all know the sleigh bells, but the reason why I chose these is because people often think they're played like this. But in an orchestra, in order to get a much more precise sound, we actually play it like this. That was Jingle Bells. Had to do it. <laughs> Next, we have the musical spoons. I learned how to play the spoons by taking two spoons and, and an elastic band and actually tying together. Now, this is how you know you've made it, I guess, is you get real, <laughs> real musical spoons. Uh, the thing I like about spoons is that they do have a Canadian heritage to them. Actually, I think this company is called Canadian Heritage, <laughs> but it's it, it, it Middle, or Middle Eastern, sorry, Mediterranean, there we go, that's Canada. Mediterranean music has a lot of spoons featured in it. So you play them by hitting your thigh and the hand. So this arm is what does most of the work, right? Boom. Next, egg shakers. I know people often think that these are like a kid's toy, but we use them all the time, right? If we're doing like Afro-Cuban music, that especially Latin American stuff, egg shakers are there. Um, the cool thing about this set that I have, you see they're four different colors, and if you look on the back, they each have written what their volume level is, right? So here's the soft, and here's the extra loud. We play them by pinching them between our two, our middle finger and our index finger, and then our thumb on the back. So here's the loud. And here's the soft, right? Huge difference. So I often like to do, I gotta switch them. I like to do like a bass with this and then like a, something like, I don't know, something like that. I'm no professional at the egg shaker. Next are the maracas. We all know these ones. Um, and I'm sure in, in a lot of cultures, this is, that is a way to play the maracas. I'm sure it is. But uh, when we were learning in an orchestral setting, um, the cool thing that I found about the, the maracas is the science of trying to get all the beads to hit one surface at the same time to make a sharp sound. And the way that we do that is playing them almost like they're drumsticks. Right? You can try to get all of them to hit at the same time. Much sharper than this. Right? So there you have it. There's a bunch of percussion instruments on how to play them. I hope you learned something um, about percussion, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!